Okay, so this is time wasting project two. So let's get let's get started. I'm going to create a new project. Make the form a bit bigger. I'm going to add an existing item. I'm going to go find my only working version of my vector class. So unit vector, and we're going to create. A couple of unit vectors. Oh my god. And we're going to create some doubles. And I'm going to create a timer. I'm going to add some buttons onto the form. I'm going to call this one. Click me. And I'm going to call this one. Me too. Actually, we're going to add the timer in Designer View. Just because it's easier. We're going to set the interval to 1. We're going to enable it and register to its tick event. And in its tick event, we're going to test the angle here, angle 1. If angle is greater than 360, then angle is equal to uh, 0. Otherwise, increment the angle. After that, we want to go to our unit vector 1 is equal to new unit vector so the vectors uh, it can only be reinstantiated you can't actually change any properties of it couldn't figure it out so uh, start points going to be this dot cursor or sorry this dot point to client cursor dot position so that we're working with a client position and our length is going to be 50 and angle in degrees will be angle 1 then we're going to change the location of button 1 it's equal to unit vector dot well first off I'm going to have to make a method to uh, convert uh, floating point floating point points to normal points so it's going to return a point call it point F to point it's going to accept a, um, a point cool now we're going to use that method To convert our uh, floating point that the unit vector returns the endpoint of the unit vector to an actual point so we can assign it to the button one's uh, location that should do the trick now we're going to do the same thing in a thread so I'm going to want this one to move a bit faster so we're going to do um, new thread start it and we're just going to copy all this in there and this time we are going to use angle 2 so we're going to test angle 2 make sure it's right and we're going to use univector 2 and the length of the vector is going to be 25 angle 2 it is and we're going to be changing the location of button 2 and I'm going to add something a bit smaller because this is going to be a bit faster than the last one so 0.3 the angle is a double well, I'm just going to do something greasy here this dot check now what is it it's there it is 
What, where is this? This is in the uh, static. This is a static property of the control class. I always forget. I think that'll work out. Okay, that's just weird. That doesn't even make sense. I think I, uh, I'm using a, a broken class here. Able up as elements. No, that's that's working just fine. Okay, so this is going to be in a while true loop. I must have my XY stuff broken. Yes, that is the problem. So that, that first, that second button is supposed to rotate around the, the first button, so let's do that. And the first button doesn't seem to be rotating properly around the cursor. I'm going to slow down the, uh, the first one here. You know what, the, uh, the first button is actually rotating properly around the cursor, it's just looks wrong because it's a, a rectangular thing. So if we were to put it like this, it would look a bit better.